Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to insert charts in the Angular spreadsheet component. You'll see how to change the height and width of a chart by resizing it and moving it to another position by drag and drop. First, I'll open my existing project, where I have already installed the Syncfusion EJ2 Angular spreadsheet package and configured the necessary modules. In the app component HTML file, I've added basic code for rendering the spreadsheet. In the sheets directive tag, I bound data to a sheet using the data source property. Also, I have created a spreadsheet instance and applied cell and number formats to the spreadsheet data. You can refer to our Angular spreadsheet getting started video to learn about adding a spreadsheet to an Angular application. I've shared the link in the card above and in the description below. Let me run this example and show you the output. It will take some time to compile the code, so we will wait. You can see that the spreadsheet is rendered with the provided data source and formats applied. In this demo, I'm going to compare the GDP of different countries over various years using charts. To insert the chart, select a range and then click the Insert tab in the Spreadsheet ribbon. You can see the Charts drop-down button. Click that button to choose a chart type. The chart types available are Column, Bar, Area, Pie, Line, and Scatter. I choose the clustered column type. I can also drag the chart and drop it onto any area of the worksheet and resize the chart's height and width. Next, I'll show you how to insert the chart in an individual cell using cell data binding. You can enable or disable this feature using the allow chart property. By default, this property is set to true. Just add a row with a cell inside the sheets tag. To know how to bind cell data, check my data binding video referred in the description below. To insert the chart in cell G1, I set the index of the cell to 6 and add the chart property. Here, I need to assign the chart model. I navigate to the app component TS file and declare a variable, chart of type, chart model, and need to assign the specifications. The available models are type, theme, is series in rows, range, and ID. I set the type to bar. Theme to material is series in rows to true and range address to A2 to E8. Assign this variable to the chart property of the sheets directive. Checking now, the bar chart is inserted in cell G1 for the specified cell range. I can also insert a chart using the built-in method of the Angular spreadsheet component. To explain this scenario, I'll comment out the cell data binding. In the onCreated method, I call the insertChart method using the spreadsheet instance and pass this chart model as an argument. Checking now, the chart is inserted for the specified range. If I want to delete the chart, I just click to select it and press delete. Finally, I will show you how to delete a chart using the delete chart method and an external button click. To demonstrate this, I comment out the insert chart method and uncomment the code to insert the chart using cell data binding. Next, I add the button tag with the content delete chart. Then, add the class name, E button to apply the Syncfusion button CSS style. And add an inline style with a 5 pixel margin to align the button. As I said earlier, I will delete the chart on button click. So, add the click event. And assign the callback method, button click. Then, I open the app component TS file. 
and define the callback method here. Inside this, call the delete chart method and pass the chart ID as an argument. If I have specified the custom ID here, I can use it to delete the chart. Since I have not specified the ID, let me show you how to get the chart ID using the cell address and the get cell method. The arguments needed for the get cell method are row index, column index, and sheet model. I have inserted the chart in cell G1. So, I get the range index using the get range indexes method. In the get cell method, I pass the row and column indexes. And then pass the sheet model using the get active sheet method. Now, this cell object contains details like value, styles, column span, chart, image, and so on. I write a condition to check whether the cell has a chart. And then pass its ID to the delete chart method. And now, when I click this button, the chart will be deleted. So far, I have shown you the ways to insert and delete the chart. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the description below. I've also shared a link where you can see if you're eligible for our community license, giving you a free license key to use our Angular products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.